Hey everyone, Shiv here. All right, so we're going to do a little thing here with uh, Fishing Planet. Right now we're at uh, level 14. At level 14 you get access to Oregon. Yay, someplace new. If you spend a whole bunch of time fishing, you know, uniques over there in North Carolina, you're probably bored as fuck at looking at that damn bobber. I know I was. So you get to go to someplace new. New, so we get to go to Oregon. All right, so 14, Oregon. Let's take a look at the basic license because this is really important. Basic Oregon license allows for regular sized fish. You must release any trout species. This sucks balls. And you got to take every single panfish, so yeah. all right. And then you get to the advanced, which is level 15. Allows to take all trout except trophy sized specimens. Again, it sucks, but it's not as bad. You'll at least start making some money off that shit. And then you get to the trout license, which is 16. This basically lets you take whatever the fuck you want. This is which one you really want to get to. All right. So, unfortunately, you've got to grind your way up to there and you start at 15,000 so you literally got to grind 5,000 fucking experience this might seem like a bitch and a half but I'm going to show you how to do this fucking easily all right first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our equipment all right yeah all right so here's the setup we are using to basically grind brown trout cutthroat trout and trophy brown trout all right, we've got the Jester 7, pretty decent pole. We got the Lodex 1500P, not the cat, uh, the gold coin one, just a regular one. All right, we're using this Spinner 1 8 ounce number 1 slash 0. And we're using a 6 pound line, braided, braided. There's a reason why we're using braided. Because, yeah, you will get hung up on some shit in there. And there's some techniques that you can use without breaking your line. And, yeah, they work. But I, I find that if you've got over six pounds, it's really helpful. The other reason why we're using a six-pound line is we're going to be pulling in fish that are six to seven pounds. So we could actually go to a higher... Um, line and that probably would be good but if you play properly you won't have a problem i've i've caught uh let's see almost a 7.1 with this all right so you should be fine all right so let's get into this i'm going to show you how this is done all right so you're going to come here which as you can see you're going to see these little trees and all that um, generally I find any time from 9 a.m. to about 3 is a good time. 3 is when it really drops off hard. Alright. There's a little sweet spot I've discovered in between the rock over here, or these rocks, and this pile of wood and logs and shit like that. Which, by the way, be careful of that wood. You will get your line caught on that shit and it's a bitch and a half. All right, so there's a little sweet spot that's at about 90 to 86. Um, actually, 90 to 82, 83. Yeah. So we're going to aim for right about here. That's going to be a little bit off, but yeah, close enough for what we're trying to do. All right, so we're going to want to reel it into about... Eh, I prefer 86, personally. And then we're just going to... And let it bounce a little. You don't want it to really be on the bottom. And I mean, I've tried a lot of different like little twitching techniques, and we got a hit. And this is, I think that might be a cutthroat. Hold on. No, that's not a cutthroat. All right. But uh, I've tried multiple different techniques on uh, twitching the bait there, and a lot of them actually work pretty good. 
All right, so we got a uh, 3.7 trout. Not bad. But this is pretty much going to be your bread and butter for a while. What you're ideally trying to get is a trophy. And this area that I'm showing you, I'm pulling a trophy like one out of six, one out of seven times. So now a little bit of variation. You don't want to cast too close to that log, but you don't want to cast too far away. So all right, nice. And we're just going to bring it right in on that 86 exactly. Let me just pop it a little bit. I've actually sat here like listening to music and just popping it to it like I, I was just doing there and did very good. Ooh, this might actually be a trophy. Uh. Switch that around. We're just constantly keeping tension because we're fighting for like every foot here, if you notice. That's uh, pretty much the trophies in a nutshell. A little bit difficult, but you know, you get used to it. And we got a 7.025 trophy brown trout. That is actually quite impressive. All right. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, that's right. Shake it off. Now, unfortunately, because we're still level 14, we can't keep it. But you'll notice you get 97. So one trophy equals out to three fish. <coughs> All right. So that's basically how you catch brown and trophy brown trout. It's probably the simplest and easiest way of grinding it up. Now you're going to be doing this for quite some time. So I recommend you come here on a five-day jaunt. Which, by the way, let's hit that first. Come here on a five-day journey. If not more, you can always extend more. It's perfectly fine. And then, you know, just go until it hits 3 o'clock. Go to the next day. Get it, get there at 9. Go to 3 o'clock. Repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Just keep doing that till you get 15. Then you can start collecting that shit. Now, there's also some other species in this lake of fish, like there's rainbows and a few others, which I have not been focusing on right now because I'm just doing what I know works this is pretty damn effective. All right. So hopefully this helped you out. Um, if you like these videos, please like, subscribe. And as always, you know, good luck on your angling. Peace.